So we pulled off all of the tape and plastic covering bits. So there were a few different ones. Uh, first of all, there's one holding the front bezel on because you can't actually, well, my assumption is that you can actually pop that off, but we'll figure that out later. There was one holding uh, this, this piece closed. Um, I think that was pretty much it for tape. So let's start at the front. So at the front, we mm -hmm. see just like the 800D, we've got all of our front panel connectors. Why are you down there? We've got all of our front panel connectors as well as our start and uh, power LED, reset switch, all of that good stuff is up here. I'm not sure where that other front USB 2.0 is. I wonder if they mean either for USB 2.0 or two USB 3, two USB 2. Either way, it's no, uh, no major loss. I mean, you only need so many front USB. So the overall fit and finish of the front bezel looks very, very similar to the 800D. Very nice quality. Very nice quality piece here. Okay, so let's move around to, let's go to this side. Okay, so we've got a window, which has kind of a frame around it. Okay, okay, gives it a very clean look. The side panel is toolless. So all you gotta do is hold down these little um, latches here. And you can open and close it that way. Let's move around to the back, where we will find eight expansion slots a 120 millimeter exhaust fan, our IO slot, as well as a bottom mounted power supply and a bottom mounted fan filter, just like the 800D, except shorter and narrower. All right, then on the other side, we're gonna, actually we're gonna take this one right off. I'm gonna show you guys the overall look of the side panel. So the side panels are quite stiff, not a whole lot of flex to them. You can see this mechanism here, looks quite robust. So you're not gonna to worry too much about that breaking over extended use, all right? Inside is all black, as we've come to expect from Corsair cases. You can see it has a huge CPU cutout. So you're gonna be able to access the back of your motherboard, however, and from whatever angle it is that you need to do that from. Okay, let's finish up with the cooling first. So up here in the top, you can see we've actually got a lot of different fan mounting options. So it comes with a 200 millimeter fan, but you can also mount two 140s using these holes or two 120s using, I don't know what holes, but use, you can do two 120s or two 140s or a single 200 millimeter. Okay, let's go ahead and take this side panel off, show you guys the inside of the window. So that's affixed with screws and it's just a piece of uh, some kind of acrylic or flexi, something like that. Okay. Internal, fe oh no, one last external feature that I did want to show you guys. Actually, if, uh, fine, we can look at this now. So here in the front, we've got our Corsair logo and we've also got our other 200 millimeter fan. And in terms of mounting options, it looks like a 200 millimeter fan is all that goes there. And you do not have the option to mount something else like you do in the top. Okay, one last external feature up here in the, in the top. You can see right here, it gives us a guide. So if you want to install a three and a half inch hot swap drive, you can do that and it'll just push it down. And if you want to install a two and a half inch hot swap drive, then it'll guide it into the correct position. So then you can swap it like it's hot. It's crazy Russian wanted me to say that. He's filming this for me in cameraman's stead. Cameraman's actually on vacation right now. I can't get it out. Oh, oh, here, hold on. We've also got our fan speed controller in here. I didn't even see that. Little switch, so we basically got low, medium, and high. I'm gonna pull that out. Okay, there, good, excellent. Closed. All right, let's have a look at the inside. Internal features, we got our motherboard tray, which is apparently designed by Corsair, much like the rest of the case. The grommets used here are, uh, I'd say they're a little stiffer than some of the, some of the, uh, well, the most flexible ones that I've seen, but you can clearly see that if you put something in, put some pressure on it and withdraw it, you're still gonna, they're still gonna come back to their original position. So nice high quality grommets. Uh, the power supply mount is raised up a little bit off the bottom of the case. Honestly, it's pretty much irrelevant because you've got this ventilation here as well as this filtered intake. So you can mount your power supply no matter what power supply you're using, no problem, fan side down, so it can draw nice fresh air filtered air through the bottom of the case. What else do we got in here? Here you can see the inside of the 200 millimeter fan that's included. Okay, 
Then we've also got a 120 millimeter fan at the back, which wasn't mentioned actually on the outside of the box, but I mean, I can't imagine Corsair releasing a case without a 120 millimeter fan, given that their water cooling solutions all rely on 120 millimeter fans. So that wouldn't make any sense at all, then, would it? We've also got, speaking of water cooling, a couple of water cooling grommets. So if you wanted to do an external mounted rad, you could run the tubing through there. As I mentioned before at the back, eight internal PCI Express brackets. So that gives you a couple options. You could install a motherboard with eight PCI. Uh, did I say PCI Express? I guess I meant PCI, but either is fine. Uh, so you can either install a motherboard with eight PCI slots at the back, or you can install a motherboard with seven and a PCIe 16X slot at the bottom, and then you can install a graphics card that is dual slot in there and it will still have room to exhaust. All right, we've got tons and tons of cable management grommets, including uh, gaps at the top here, and more importantly here, to bring through the eight pin or four pin CPU power connector or connectors. What do we got here in terms of internal connectors? Speaking of connectors, all right, we've got uh, a Ziploc bag, which has a Corsair sticker in all likelihood, although I don't see it. Some rubber grommets, some screws, some zip ties. Okay, here is all of our, wow, that's a whack of internal cables. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and find out how to, how to take this off. Come on. Oh, I see, it's probably affixed from the back. Yes, yes it is. That took me way too long to figure out. Okay. There we go. So this, this is like a wad of cables. It's a good thing Corsair makes all of their cables black. Otherwise, managing all of this, plus power supply, plus whatever the heck else data cables you need, would be a mess. Okay, so back here we've got our Firewire, we've got our HD Audio, we've got our USB 2, we've got our USB 3. You can see the way the USB 3 works is via the running out the back of the case and plugging into the back of the I.O. shield, although I would expect adapters to be available fairly shortly so that you can use those brand new fancy internal headers with your brand new fancy case. All right, so that's all of that. And then we've got Fan connector. Okay, no, we've got our front panel, so that's our power switch, LEDs, reset switch, all that good stuff. And then we have fan connectors. So here's the power for the fan controller that we uh, saw with that switch up at the top. And then you can plug up to four fans directly into it and control all four fans. So the four fans they intend for you to use are the 200 mil at the front, a 120 mil at the back, and then up to two 140s or two 120s at the top. We have a toolless mechanism here for the drive cages. So it's just a simple rocker one. So all you have to do is push that in, well, pull it out, put in your drive, push it in. Okay, fairly straightforward. And here we have toolless hard drive trays. So they've got two and a half inch mounting holes here, and then three and a half inch drives are gonna be mounted via the pegs here. They look flimsy, but as soon as you put a drive in them and snap them in, I guarantee you they're not going anywhere. Now, one of these cages is actually removable. Actually, these cages are removable, and I believe they can actually be rotated, but don't quote me on that one yet. We will find out. Maybe it's just one of them that can be rotated. Here we go, thumb screws, handy. Love the thumb screws. Okay, so that did that, and then Oh, okay, give me a moment here, guys. Okay, I was mistaken. It looks like what this feature is actually for is to remove the hard drive cages, which clearly we've done, and then you can, I guess you can access this fan to clean it for whatever reason or whatever, but what it's also for is installing very, very, very long graphics cards. So Corsair has left enough room for graphics cards to become pretty much double the length of a motherboard, and you will still be able to install them in the 650D without any difficulty whatsoever. Okay, the last thing we're going to show you guys in our unboxing and preview or whatever you want to call it, first look, that's what I usually call it, is how to remove the front bezel. So all you got to do is pull up these tabs and remove the front bezel. So the front bezel from the inside, you can see it has a metal, metal sheath outside of it, but the inside is actually plastic. We've got our fan filter here, which uh, hmm, is or is not removable. It's gotta be, it's gotta be removable. Yes, it's removable. 
So there you go. There's your front fan filter and it is removable. Maybe that's what Crazy Russian was trying to show me earlier. Okay. And then from the front, you can, I don't know, install drives, see fans, uninstall this fan potentially. Thank you for checking out my video on the Corsair. Here, I'll pose this here. Yeah, that looks good. It's not gonna stay. Now it'll stay. On the Corsair 650D, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.